Hey everybody, Steve from Flight Brothers here, and today I am checking out the all-new Brother Hobby T1 motor. Now these are a 2205 size at 2600 kV. Now Brother Hobby kind of just launched themselves into the FPV racing motor scene by uh, showing up with this just fantastic and unique design that just reeks of quality and craftsmanship it's just a fantastic design and we're going to take a look at what comes in the box what this motor looks like some of its features and i'm going to run through a few thrust tests as well first of all the motor itself out of the box is just very clean looking very unique and hey imagine that a uh, motor not going with the whole mainstream red color um, i love it this nice silver finish um, just shiny fresh different and then these fins on the bell are just uh, something just so unique and different from the rest of the motors out there and what i presume these fins are going to do is just have a massively uh strong effect on the cooling that this motor is able to do because what's going to happen with fins that size is they're going to just push a lot of air away from the motor in all directions and that's going to actually help suck air in through these nice large ports at the bottom of the motor and you can see even though you know this motor would be mounted on a uh, on an arm or something like that you can see even if the motor's sitting flat there's a lot of space there for air to enter underneath it's not like some motors i've seen where the holes on the bottom are pretty much covered up by the arm once it's mounted uh, it's just a really nice design for cooling and uh, I think this is going to do an excellent job staying cool in the air. Even, even without a prop, I imagine this might move enough air to keep itself cool, which is fantastic. I mean, spinning this, magnets feel very strong and smooth. Nice feel, nice sound to it. Another thing that I noticed right off the bat, too, uh, is check this out. Right at the bottom here, you can see that the three wires coming out of the motor are actually coming out of their own separate holes three in a row right there which is really kind of neat helps keep them separated helps uh, just make sure they're coming out in a clean way and it looks like the connection from the enameled covered covered wire to a standard silicone wire is happening right here as they exit the motor so you could trim these off right there short as you want to get in order to get them on a frame i'm going to be mounting these on my tyrant uh 180 frame. I'm running four inch props on it and I'm going to need to cut these about this short and I'm not worried at all about that happening or being able to solder them or anything like that. Also included in the box for each motor, you can see, you know, it's simple packaging. There's a lot of motors out there that come in these big fancy boxes with extra sleeves and foam. Yes, we're going to be throwing these motors onto aircraft that are f being flung through the air at 70 miles an hour. I'm pretty sure if it was going to get damaged in a box being shipped across the world, you don't want it on your quad anyway. So why waste the money on all that fancy packaging? It's just not worth it to me. So yes, it comes in a chintzy little box, but why do you need any more? Oh crap, I need that. So anyway, what's in the box? You got the motor. And you got a little baggie. Pretty straightforward. You got four M3 mounting screws. These are the ones with the nice big head and the 2.5 millimeter hex end. And you've got one locking uh, screw uh, nut, rather, one lock nut for the uh, prop adapter on the top. And uh, that's all you need. So, I, you know, I've seen some motors also that come with two or even three prop nuts which is nice um, but they do throw one in here and it's a lock nut so it's pretty good i've also seen a lot of motors come with two different options in the length of screws depending on the length of your frame uh, so that would be nice to see maybe a, another option another set of screws in here because they do get lost occasionally but not too big of an issue and there's a lot of space i don't know how well you can see that but there's a lot of space between the uh, coils and the screw holes so it's not like you're going to run into too many issues with a long screw going up into those coils 
Got a long way to go to get there, so um, it would be nice to have an, maybe another set of screws that's a little longer. I mean, I've seen frames coming out with a six millimeter carbon on them, so it, it's not like a longer screw wouldn't be used or maybe necessary in some of those instances because these seem relatively short. Um, my Tyrant is a four millimeter frame, so I'm hoping that it hoping that it leaves enough threads there for it to uh, mount on there accordingly. So uh, moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and get this motor, which is just just the craftsmanship of this is just really something special. Um, also want to point out the single coil uh, strands in there, the single strand coils in there. Uh, from what I understand, now I'm no expert, uh, but from what I understand, having a single coil uh, or single stranded coil uh, helps a lot, especially in the high end torque. It, it allows it to be you have a lot of torque in the upper end and the higher RPMs and uh, so that's something that we'll look at when we get it on the thrust stand, which I'm going to go ahead and do next. So let's go check it out over there. So, as you can see, these Brother Hobby Tornado T1 motors not only look cool with this kind of uh, retro silver theme going on, which has really a neat look, but they also really perform. I'm going to be using this on my 4-inch Diatone Tyrant, and you can see I've already got the other three wired up ready to go, and I just love the look of this, and I'm going to be trying it out with uh, some of these doll crystal props, so you'll still be able to see that underneath there, and oh, it's just going to be a cool looking build, and I bet it's going to uh, be a really strong flyer, so I can't wait to get it going. In fact, uh, I, I'm, I'm ready to go now, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this trimmed up, and I'm going to get some flight videos out to you very soon uh, after I get this hooked up, but uh, guys, I want to thank you for watching. I uh, really appreciate you liking, subscribing, sharing our videos. We are getting close to a thousand subscribers, which is just amazing. Thank you everybody for for that and for uh, standing by and supporting us in what we do here at Flight Brothers. And uh, I'll get some flight videos up soon and I have some other amazing products coming in to review very soon. So thank you very much everybody and uh, we'll see you next time.